Well, let's talk about two-minute tutorials. You guys are all been freaking out about these two-minute tutorials. You're like, Sage Am, you gotta make 50 of them, 100 of them, make 9,000 two-minute tutorials. I have to explain. I did this two-minute tutorial, I made it as a joke, and also to prove a point slightly, just to be like, all right, it can't be that hard, and people really seem to enjoy it. Uh, when it comes to content, I always think about the fact that people always talk about like what they could do and like all the unexplored ways you can do content and everything, and I was like, dude, doing tutorials is like very easy and fast. It doesn't take a lot of know-how to make something good if you know the information or what you're trying to get into. Let me explain how to make a two-minute tutorial and how this began. I saw Punk tweeting about content. I saw that everybody was arguing about how to make content, how tough it is, how easy it is, like the stuff you can do, how you can be creative. And I thought like, what's something somebody hasn't done? And like a long time ago, I used to make these character breakdowns. I used to do character tutorials. So I was like, okay, how long would it take me to just like start to finish, do a tutorial for a character? I went to my Discord and I said, hey, who wants to play my Sagat? I need to record something. So you might be in a video. Doof hit me up and he's like, yeah, bro, I'll play. So we played for 30 minutes. We played two first of fives and that was it. During that footage, I was like, hmm, what do I need to do to teach people Sagat? So I wrote down a little script. I know when you guys see it, you guys are gonna be impressed by my comprehensive script writing guide. So this is the script I wrote. Now, script writing is pretty tough. As you can see here, I wrote, throwing tiger shots, good and bad. Anti-air with tiger uppercut, but also HK go burr. When they get in, use medium kick and heavy kick, in pressure, standing leg kick, and a tiger shot. When you get your offense, do medium, medium, and V skills and V triggers. How do they work? Nobody knows. Okay, GG's. Th this is a script. It took me probably less than 30 seconds <laughs> to type, <laughs> type all this out. So I put together the script, got that footage, threw it in there, and I didn't even have perfect examples for every single thing that I wanted to show. It was like, yeah, this is good enough. And I cut together the video, literally sliding the clips together, narrating. It took me probably 30 minutes to record the footage. It took me probably three or four minutes in the shower to think about how to make the tutorial. And it took me probably 30 minutes to cut together the video. So probably about an hour, hour and 10 minutes total of work from start to finish to create the two minute tutorial. How many takes did the narration take? It took plenty because I had no script. <laughs> this is very easy to do. It's incredibly simple to put together a tutorial like this with no editing, basic voiceover, two minutes long. Somebody brings up in the chat the exact thing that a couple of other people have brought up, which is obviously it's going to be easier for you because you have so much more experience with character breakdowns and analysis. Right, why hasn't every other commentator who commentates fighting games done a two minute guide for all the characters in their game and made a million dollars? How come players who play Sagat or players who play characters don't just make these videos? Second of all, if you have another skill that's not I don't know, making character breakdowns and explaining things. Like if you're a player who's very good at, you know, doing some certain style, why not cut together a two minute thing that's like, hey, here's how I approach this matchup, or hey, here's how you zone with this character, or hey, here's how you do this. Clearly the editing is not the hard part, and the gathering of clips is not the hard part, and the voiceover is not the hard part. You can just, you can do as many takes as you want into a microphone. The knowledge and the experience is the difficult part, but, Content creators, by their nature, have some kind of experience or knowledge or ability to create stuff, whether it's for me, analysis or character breakdowns or whatever it is, right? Where is it at? Why aren't they just pumping it out? I'm always telling people to be very like aware of their surroundings and pursue things, right? Because there's so many things left for fighting games to create. There is room for good versions of like every single type of content. This is like a style that's very popular in like every other genre, like the little short, funny tutorial style videos. The Sage M's YouTube is big, so that's why people watch it. Like, yeah, why is it big? How did it get big? You know, I just planted a YouTube seed in the ground and whoop, YouTube tree grew out of it. I made tutorials like this five, six, seven years ago because no one else was doing short, focused character breakdowns where people would just explain, Hey, if you want to play this character, you don't have to learn the most complex thing this character has. Here's a couple of normals you should hit if they're close or far. Here's how their special moves work. Here's the game plan of the character. To this day, I feel like most tutorials are still way overly complicated in what they're trying to explain or approach. They don't understand the approach. Most people don't teach what you should in a tutorial. The second thing I wanted to talk about with the two minute guide, the, the important one to me, right? Immediately, I got a lot of comments. Yeah, you can do it for Sagat because Sagat's easy, which first of all, no one thinks Sagat's easy, by the way. People always talk about how hard Sagat is all the time, but they're like, I bet you couldn't do it for Zeku. 
I bet you couldn't do it for for Ibuki. I bet you couldn't do it for Gil or Jury or what. Like, first of all, Ibuki would be so incredibly easy. Could you imagine? I'd be like, do Crouching Medium Punch into a special move. If you have EX Gauge, use it into EX Kunai. If, that's, if that hits, do Rida. If it blocks, get Pressure. If you have meter and you're full screen, jump. And after you jump, either do a button or do EX Kunai. If you're low on life, hit Crouching Medium Kick and throw a shuriken and after the shuriken hits dpm in the air hit back medium punch left right 50 50. you've learned ibuki that's it these people misunderstand complex characters don't mean the tutorial needs to be longer no matter how difficult or complex a character is if you've played fighting games you know that eventually a character gets boiled down eventually you sort of just figure out what's good with a character and you just do the things that are good so even if you think like jury is complicated she's not doing a simple tutorial like this you just show the most simple things that you do. I'll talk to you guys about tutorial construction a little bit. This will be a two minute guide to making a two minute tutorial. <laughs> first things first, write a script, write down notes, take notes on the things you're interested in doing. I thought to myself, how does Zeku work? At his core, what's his game plan? I just thought about how to play Zeku. It took me like 30 seconds a minute to write this script. I recorded 20 minutes of gameplay against one person. I went into the uh, editing software, slapped the clips in, did narration over it, launched it. That's all I did not complicated. The reason a lot of guides suffer is that people get overly complicated and they don't think about what an average human learns when they play a fighting game. Most tutorials overestimate how much you are actually going to take away. If it's 10 minutes long, if it's 20 minutes long, if it's an hour and a half long, how much of that are you actually going to be able to pull away and put into your game plan at a relatively fast pace? Not very much. The reason the two minute tutorial is structured the way it is, is to say, Characters and players, when they are learning things, they just want to know what to do. They don't care if a move is plus. They don't care if a move is negative. They don't care if a move is safe. They just want to know what they're supposed to do. When I'm standing there on the screen fighting against another human, what do I do? Like, all right, well, the general game plan is to throw tiger shots. And if they jump your tiger shots, which they're going to, you need to anti air them. If for some reason they're too close to you and you don't want to throw tiger shots, it's because you're in a scary range, so you should hit medium kick. That's it. That's as complex as it needs to be the first few times you play. You don't want to give someone a tutorial that requires them to watch it 75 times. There's room, obviously, for more intermediate and advanced tutorials or guides to stuff, but you really need to understand that a human being is going to pick up a controller and try to do what you're telling them. If I was learning how to play a character, I don't care about any of that other stuff anyway. I just want to know how the character moves around and what they're trying to do. You know, somebody says like, what about Tekken? Tekken's hard. You probably, or Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear is a complex game. If you really know the information you're trying to do and you understand how this tutorial works, you would know that you could do this for anything. Two minutes, that's all you need. It doesn't need to be complex. Like there's like a one minute Hey Hachi God in Tekken that's fantastic. It's like, do this mid, do this low, do this move right here. And this move is plus on block, so just use these four. If you're gonna do a Guilty Gear guide for Soul, you're like, hit far slash and cancel that into uh, 2S or 5H, and then every once in a while, cancel those buttons into Gunflame. When you don't wanna cancel into Gunflame, just do Fafner after. Sometimes when you knock them down, go low. Sometimes you knock them down, do Command Throw. <laughs> Easy. Dude, I could teach you Potemkin in two minutes. You flick if they shoot a projectile. You do the slide head if they're standing on the ground. You do hammer fall and you either break or you don't break. If you have meter, do the hammer fall and then RC into command throw. And when you get them in the corner, just do 2K, 2D. You'll be fine. Or 2P, 2, 2D, whatever. Just sweep them. They're always going to try to jump. That's how you play Potemkin. To break something down that's complex, you, you have to have a deep understanding of it to take something complex and make it simple. Which is why the point of this is not to say that you everybody should go making two-minute tutorials. <laughs> the point is to say, if you're interested in making any kind of content, it doesn't need to be fancy. I haven't edited anything in years. <laughs> this is, It's been years since I've had to edit anything. The thumbnail definitely took longer to make. It probably took him longer to do the thumbnail than it took for me to create the video. Editing can help in the same way that having a deep knowledge can help, in the same way that experience creating stuff can help, in the same way that having practice narrating can help, in the same way all of those things are skills that will help you. Like for instance, if I was a worse narrator, I would have to make more takes, right? So it would take longer. If I was a better editor, I would probably spend more time editing and the video would look 
nicer. If I was less knowledgeable, I would have to go research the character beforehand instead of just going and doing it. I didn't train you mode either of them. I just went into a match and I was like, what do these characters do? You know, there there are obviously gaps in your creation. But anyway, the point of this is it's not as complex as you guys think. My, my favorite videos that got me interested in content creation, the stuff that I wanted to do was I really liked the Riot Champion Spotlights. I thought those were cool. So it made me interested in doing character breakdowns back on the channel forever ago. If it works, copy them. Copy them and then figure out what you actually like doing and what you're good at and then switch to that. You know what I mean? That's how you start. I mean, Brian Brian literally said he's copied Ludwig's formula to improve his stuff. I've carved out a formula that works for me by years and years and years of just creating stuff and figuring out what I liked. Everybody has inspirations, right? When you first start, everybody's got something that they really liked and then it inspired them to start copy me i don't care you don't have to be the best player in the world at the game you don't even have to be known in the game you just be someone making content on the internet do you guys know who desk is how many tournaments you seen desk at is desk riding the coattails of street fighter no he's just a creator who makes dope videos bro look who laughed at my zeku guide look who laughed at my zeku guide beast oh, so let's start. that's a cosine uh, right there player. i made infectious laugh GG's. They say you can't do the impossible. I got co-signed by the best Sagat and the best Zeku. I mean, it's that easy. Listen. I think it's just the lack of experience of creation makes people think it's a lot harder than it actually is. The point is, though, I don't want to make a million of these two-minute tutorials. I'm not interested in making 5,000 of them. Two-minute segue tutorial? Not that I can do. How to keep a schedule like an actual human tutorial? People struggle with these things. Please don't do jury. All right, I won't.